Hello dear student, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will see Sandmer reaction. So I will explain the uh, principle of this reaction and how to write the reaction and what is the mechanism behind this reaction. So I will explain in detail. Sandmer reaction. Let us see the principle first. In this reaction, aryl digonium halides are converted to aryl halides using copper halide as a catalyst. By writing the reaction, we will understand this statement. See, the statement says that it is an, a reaction of an aryl digonium halide in the presence of a copper halide as a catalyst, and we get aryl halides. So, aryl means it is an uh, benzene ring and it is having a substitution of digonium halide in the first case and in the second case it will have a substitution of an halide. So let us see uh, by the reaction. So this is an aryl digonium halide. So I will write nitrogen, three bonds. So here it will have a positive sign, here it will have a lone pair and it will have a halide. So the name of this compound is aryl digonium halide, common name. Aryl because it is having a benzene ring and it is having a substitution. So phenyl it becomes and digonium halide. So this is a digonium salt and it is having an halide. So the name of this compound it is benzene digonium. chloride benzene digonium chloride and it is in the presence of catalysts such as copper halide and also it is having HCl one more reagent and we get at the last compound that is aryl halides so aryl halides means it is having a substitution of an halide on the benzene ring so this is the common name and particular name for this compound is Benzene chloride, or you can also say chlorobenzene. So both are same. So principle, as per the principle, we have written that aryl digonium halides are converted to aryl halides and using a copper halide as a catalyst. So role of catalyst is that it will be never in the end product, it will be just uh, initiate the reaction but it will be never in the end product. So this Cl it has been substituted on the benzene ring and uh, here there is a removal of a molecule that is a nitrogen gas. Nitrogen gas it will get evolved from this reaction. So let us see now the mechanism of this reaction. But before the mechanism, you should know some basics. Uh, see, some basics means like, see, carbon. I will write here a carbon. Carbon is having four bonds, right? It is having four bonds. And carbon, each of the bond, means if anyone asks you what is the valency of a carbon, it is four. It means it is having a four bond. And each bond, it consists of two electrons. So there are two electrons in each bond. So one electron it is coming from hydrogen and one it is coming from the carbon. So I will write here one electron from carbon, one from an hydrogen. So each bond is having two electrons. It is formed by an overlap. So it is kind of an covalent bond. And it is completing its octet. Means all the octet it has been completed. It is having eight electrons in the last shell. So it is completing the octet. Now why we require this to understand the mechanism. See nitrogen it is completing its octet but it is having two non-bonding pair of electron, one non-bonding pair of electron. Uh, see, if I write here hydrogen, see in the outer shell, outer shell of an nitrogen, it is having only three electrons which can form a bond with the hydrogen. And there are two electrons or it is called a pair of electron pair because there are two pair of electron 
which is called non bonding electrons these are non bonding electrons while in case of carbon all are bonding electrons but in case of nitrogen it is non bonding if we go further like in in case of an oxygen you can see there are two pairs and these are non bonding pairs and there are only uh, two electrons which can form a bond with an hydrogen or any other molecule whatever it is so what i want to say that here it is completing its octet see here you can see that it is completing the octet there are eight electrons in this case also there are eight electrons in this case also there are eight electrons so it is completing the octet every atom it tries to complete its octet but there are some exceptions so i have not talked with about that just i am uh, concentrating on the nitrogen that it is completing its octet so we will require this basics for the mechanism and in case of copper see copper is such kind of a molecule it has an oxidation state 1 and it has oxidation state 2 so what is oxidation state 1 suppose it is forming only one bond we can say it is having oxidation state 1 and copper when it is forming two bonds it means that it is having oxidation state 2 it is due to that one of the electron it comes in the d orbital so we will not go into detail what is the d orbital and this it is more stable compared to this one so one of the electron it goes to an d orbital so it is uh, like in case when uh, the elements are from d block they can show such type of an valences that it means oxidation states it can show so in case of copper it shows two kinds of an oxidation state and also uh, there is one more that is 3 but we will not go for that so we can we will have this uh, kind of an oxidation state in our mechanism and we uh, we will also require this what is this why nitrogen is having uh, why nitrogen it is having positive charge on it so we will discuss about it so in case of mechanism see uh, very first thing is that Uh, so it is disonium salt aryl disonium salt nitrogen 1 2 3 bonds as i have said that valence is 3 here it is chloride it is forming a salt and say why, why it is having a positive charge on this nitrogen now let me explain once again see there are three electrons right of one nitrogen and three electrons of another nitrogen so there are three and it is having a bond pair right non bonding pair of an electrons uh, so total it becomes eight this six plus this two but in case of this nitrogen it is one two and three and here it will be having only two electrons so it becomes it becomes eight but the problem is that this six and this two but the problem is that nitrogen it always have a lone pair of electron on itself and always it will have a three bonds here the problem is that the nitrogen has paired its electron pair for bonding with this phenyl ring and due to which now it is not having uh, the electron pair non bonding electron pair which it has paired with this ring now further uh, in mechanism we will require this cucl Uh, so it is having oxidation state one, and now further, what happens that this Cl it will donate a lone pair of electron towards Cu. Now the oxi oxidation state for this Cu it becomes two. So Cl, Cu, and Cl. Right. So oxidation state it is two. Here it was having only one bond with the chlorine, and here there are two bonds with the chlorine. So oxidation state it becomes two. So the valency has changed. Now further, uh, in case of this ring, further this nitrogen, see this nitrogen. one is having a lone pair of electron one is not having a lone pair of electron so that is why it is deficient now further this will break and always remember that here it is and radical breakdown so radical breakdown means 
one of the electron so one of the electrons so this bond it is form of two electrons so one of the electrons it will get on copper and one bond electron it will come on the chloride so now the structure it will become so i will write this structure in this way cu so it is as same and it is having one electron on itself one electron it has come on the copper and plus cu plus one electron so it is chloride, chloride radical and now further what happens see one of the electron i will show here the electron that one of the electron it will so when this bond will break there are two electrons in this bond so one of the electron it will come on the nitrogen so i have shown it by only an half arrow you can see that it is not an full arrow like this it is not a full headed arrow it is just an half headed arrow so one of the electron it comes from from the phenyl ring and one of the electron it goes in the phenyl ring so it goes in the phenyl ring so one of the electron it it, it will be on the phenyl ring and one of the electron it comes from this copper to the nitrogen so i will show here okay it is also shown by an half arrow it means that one of the electron it comes from this copper and now this copper it becomes as it is as it is a catalyst catalyst so it it will become as it is same cu cucl so the use of this copper now it is over now further one electron it comes from uh, one electron it comes from an uh, copper now the structure it becomes like this so this uh, phenyl ring and one electron as bond between nitrogen and carbon it was broken so one electron it is on the ring and one electron it is on the nitrogen so i will write here the structure of nitrogen see these it is three uh, three bonds and earlier nitrogen having a lone pair of electron which is non bonding one electron it is coming from the ring so i will show this one electron and one electron it is coming from the copper now this n2 it is been removed n2 it is been removed so i will show this n2 it is been removed from this reaction earlier i was talking about the octet uh, so i will show that octet see nitrogen uh, now there is no positive charge on the nitrogen uh, negative i have written that because it has been removed so i have written it now you can see that octet it is complete there are six electrons between this three bond so this six electron plus this two now it becomes octet and this six electron plus this two it becomes an octet and in this case it was octet but there was no lone pair on the nitrogen the property of nitrogen is that it should have a lone pair and this lone pair it was been utilized for an bond formation earlier uh, with this ring uh, so that is why nitrogen is having a positive charge actually it should have completely eight electrons in it this six plus this uh, two non bonding pair of electron but here there are almost uh, six and seven electrons so one electron it is for of an benzene ring and one it is of an nitrogen so that is why it was showing an positive charge that it it means that it is an electron deficient but here now it it's complete and nitrogen it is been removed benzene ring it is having one electron and now next electron it will come from this chloride radical so they will combine and we will get the structure i have shown it by an half headed arrow uh, because there is only an electron transfer not a pair transfer so we get the last structure that is of an chlorobenzene so one electron it is from benzene ring and one electron it is from an chloride radical and we get the final product that is chlorobenzene if you are having any doubts you can comment me in the comment box section so thank you for watching the video Hope you understood it.